your mind. <laughs> we leave it to say it's been a very hectic day. For information, the chairman of the PP Tescom and members of the council. All directors of education here present. Representatives of National Examination Council, NECO, here present. Uh, the commercial banks, what can I say? Uh, we spend your day. I know how valuable your time is, but I can't help it. So uh, I'm a little bit very sorry. It is it's just one of those things in that. Well, political situation. I know how valuable your time is. Please forgive, forgive me and bear with us. Chairman and members of the Union of Teachers, principal, staff, and students here present, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is with much delight and sense of duty that I am addressing you today on the second edition of the presentation of checks to commercial banks, 16 of them, for the payment of the year 2000-2001 Senior Secondary Schools Advocate, SSCE, to be conducted by the National Examination Council, NECO, for 90,986 bona fide SS3 students in 366 public secondary schools in 20 local education districts of Lagos State. The total cost is $100 million, 84,600 Naira for this year. I repeat, 100 million, 84,600 Naira for year 2000, 2001. <laughs> During the 1999-2000 SSC, a total of 90,000 students were paid for and presented for the National Examination Council, NECO, Secondary School Certificate Examination by our government. Ladies and gentlemen, let me assure the good people of Lagos State that we will not relent in our commitment that never again will our children be left to drop out of school because their parents are so poor they cannot afford to pay their school fees. For the mergers a couple of weeks ago, to demonstrate our determination and commitment to the pursuit of good education in the state, we laid the foundation of one of the 25 millennium block of schools. 25 of them spread across the 20 local governments will be built. This, we are sure, will enhance the provision of quality education in a conducive environment. Each of those schools, we have 39 classrooms, laboratories for all the science subjects, at least two introduction to technology workshops, all stores and offices, needed computer and craft rooms with 60 toilet facilities for the students. 60, six of them. <laughs> we have adequate room and space for teachers. And these schools we have bowls and electricity among others. In school, we accommodate not fewer than 2,460 students. To me, that will con decongest all schools and take our frustration away. That will demonstrate a very strong determination and commitment 
That school will cost us over one billion naira. Okay. 2.3 billion naira, yes. 2.3 billion naira. Equally, we have received your request for the payment of the National Business and Technical Education Board examination fee for students in our five technical colleges. You want us to pay for those exams too. Your request is receiving attention. This government will not discriminate in its disposition towards students in our secondary and technical schools. The redemption of this nation through our current democratic experiment depends largely on the soundness of our school system and the quality of leadership demonstrated by our head teachers and teachers. Principals must therefore begin to appreciate more and more the complexity of their role in shaping the lives of our youths and the future of this country. Principals are not only leaders, they are also managers and role models. Principals and other educational administrators in Lagos State must rise up to the challenge of attaining a high standard of excellence in our school system. As leaders, you must be able to motivate and mobilize teachers and students to attain greater heights in their pursuit of knowledge. As managers, you must demonstrate property, accountability, and efficiency. As role models, you must be able to inspire teachers and students by your character and lifestyle. The menace of indiscipline, especially as manifested in the conduct of some of our principals and the examination malpractices by some students and teachers in our schools, must be tackled courageously and with strong determination. It is a problem we cannot wish away. We must therefore work out practical solutions that will restore discipline and confidence in our school system. To you children, we are giving you the best legacy now and a ladder to higher education in the future. Seize this opportunity and make the best use of it. Do not let your performance be a stumbling block to others coming behind you. Prepare well for your examination with all the seriousness it demands. Study hard, read fast, spend more time, write fast, and write down facts to pass your examination in flying colors. Make honesty your best policy. Do not fall into the temptation of cheating during the examinations. Let your motto be, I quote, I shall pass through this NECO SSE where only once, unquote. You must put Lagos State in the forefront of those that will produce a new breed of Nigerians that are well equipped and prepared to face the challenges of this new millennium. To our parents and guardians, I want to remind you of your responsibility to cooperate with the government by supervising and monitoring the academic and moral upbringing of your children and wards. Be good and worthy examples at home to the children in ward, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and all that is noble. Let us go further from echo to show to our to our echo for action. And should get the training of our children so that Lagos State may continue to excel in all areas of human endeavor. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my prayer that the Almighty Allah 
We crown our effort over our children with decided success. It takes a village, Mrs. Clinton once said, to raise a child. It is the responsibility of government to channel the cause and lay the foundation for the policy. It is equally the responsibility of teachers to be parents to those people when they get there. The parents must play their role. Yes, it is very hard this time, unlike before. The two parents have had to look for the economic prosperity and survive. One salary or one income is no longer enough to raise the children. We understand, and that's why we are giving you a helping hand. That's why we are paying for these examinations. We believe none should drop out. But just let us pull together. Both the organized private sector, too, you have a role to play. Because out of this product, you will have to pull. Recruit members of your staff that will be your workforce in the future. The government cannot do it alone. It must be the responsibility of all of us. We take education very seriously. To you, the teachers, we know your problem. We are with you. Please be with us and with those children. Thank you very much. Have a good